Hello, it's Ken from Pine Finders Old Pine Furniture Warehouse and I'm going to take a video of all the furniture that's just arrived. Well, it arrived on Sunday the 3rd of December. So I'm going to record a video showing you everything that's just arrived and I'll be showing you the prices. That's the price in the bare wood, the first price. That's the price when, it, when this particular cupboard's all done up and waxed. You'll have its unique code at the top there, V2105C, for example. And on the back, we've got height, width, depth, the dimensions. When it comes to wardrobes, you'll also have an internal dimension at the bottom, which on this one is 21. That's the hanging space, in other words. So I will start from down here. There is a little reclaimed bench. I do apologise. I'll apologise for probably the last time because I'm getting all the lights fixed on Monday. So it'll be all done on Monday. So we'll start off a little reclaimed bench. V2600B. The price 250 as it is, 297 when it's all waxed. The height right to the top there is 43. And then the seat height is 18, the width is 39 inches, and the depth 15 inches. All the measurements are going to be in inches. And we've got another reclaimed pine bench. Oh, sorry, I didn't show you the this first one. The seat lifts up. And this reclaimed bench has actually been made from an old bed, old pine bed, sleigh bed, and the top kind of lifts up as well so you've got storage underneath there code number v1505b the price 300 as it is and 367 if you'd like us to wax it for you then we've got a bookcase with adjustable shelves if you can see those adjusters there and the support is there so these supports can be taken out and moved anywhere you want so the shelves are adjustable. I think this has been made from an old cupboard. I reckon this is an old cupboard and it's been modified into a bookcase. This isn't the drawer at the bottom, it's a fake drawer. As you can see, there's nothing inside. V0803B, 300 as it is, 347 when it's waxed and the dimensions on the back. I'll stop reading out all the details. I'll just show you the ticket as I do it. Otherwise, my voice is going to run out. And then we've got a lovely tall chest of drawers with four drawers, four small drawers at the top and then four larger below. It's a lovely piece, it says. A bit of detail underneath the top. And it's not too deep, quite nice. Then a small Victorian two over three chest of drawers. I think it's a yes, it is a Victorian. Yeah. Here we have a large wall hanging cupboard with a fancy piece on top. This crown piece does actually lift off. So if you didn't want the crown piece, that's fine. It's got some little drawers there and the glazed door in the middle and pegs below. So you could hang cups and things from these pegs. If you can just see the, get a bit closer, you might be able to see them better. Yeah, some, some pegs there. And we have a lovely cupboard here. Again, I do apologise about the light. We've had real problems recently. So it's a one door partly glazed cupboard. And another partly glazed cupboard next to it. We have the drawer at the top and this has one 
currently, oh no, we've got three shelves that go, that's going to go inside of these. This, yeah, three shelves inside. Then we've got our bread cupboard, larder cupboard. I think people used to call them pie cupboards as well. A little vent on. And it has two shelves inside. And these drawers on the right hand side. So these drawers on the right, oh, sorry, on the left hand side, each with a porcelain knob. We can fit wooden knobs if you prefer, so we can change those over. The door, as you can see, the door closes and locks, which prevents the drawers opening. If you can see that, so that stops the drawers from opening. That just means you could could have locked all your food away. But I can move this strip over so you can get at the drawers. That's what I usually do for people if required. Then we've got a low cupboard with, well, a low set of drawers with a cup cupboard on the right-hand side. <coughs> Good for a TV cupboard, TV unit. Then a large Victorian chest of drawers. This will be quite a, quite a warm colour when it's waxed. Two over three. Then a tall, fairly slender cupboard, two door cupboard with a drawer at the top. And it has three shelves inside. come all the way to the end. No, we're not. We're going to come back to the beginning and I'll show you this lovely, again, you won't be able to see this very well, but it's a beautiful originally painted wardrobe dating from, it's got written on there, 1789. Was that 1784? 1784. And it's Johanna So. Sophia Lu Luchanin or something. So that's what's written on there. So it's obviously that was, these are often for, um, oh, it's got some painting on there. Given as wedding presents for the happy couple, um, these sort of things. So those were obviously their names, Johanna and Sophia Luchanin or something, Seventeen. 84. So, wardrobe in its original paint, lovely piece with two drawers at the bottom. A bit of a special item that is. A lovely piece. Um, we've done that uh, bookcase. Another bookcase with adjustable shelves and a drawer at the bottom. Then we've got a nice old pine chest of drawers stroke cupboard. So there's a number of drawers with a cupboard in the middle. pair of marble top bedside cupboards with some lovely detail in the middle. There's the marble. If I open this door, you might better... Oh no, it's getting dark outside. We could fit some wooden tops. If you didn't like the marble, we could put some wooden tops on for you. I do have some wood in there that would be suitable. So that's a thought, um, so that's that done, and we come back to here. Then, yes, this lovely piece here, which is a very tall storage cupboard, partly glazed, the top two doors are glazed. And this is three, these are three separate units. So the one sits on that, which sits on that. So these just lift off. And it's a lovely thing, dating from about 1910. 
It's had some shelves fitted like that in the middle. And there's a shelf inside the base as well. And there's a shelf inside the top as well. There's a shelf inside the top section. Lovely panelled panelled doors. And the height 90 inches, so check your ceiling height obviously because that's pretty tall. We haven't got the depth on there for some reason. The internal depth 19. And I would imagine the main depth about 21, 22, something like that. But for some reason, he didn't write it on there. A glazed, partly glazed dresser. This is a French, no, it's probably Hungarian maybe, or Czech Republic. Dating from about 1910. That the work surface height, height is 35 and a half, the total height is 79. So that's 35 and a half to there. Then we've got a triple antique pine wardrobe dating from 1930s with a mirror in the center door and two drawers at the bottom. This wardrobe totally dismantles for delivery. So it should go up any stairway, nice and deep, 21 inch internal depth. Then another 1930s wardrobe, three door one with, again, with two drawers at the bottom. And again, totally dismantles for delivery. And nice and deep. And one more, which is a double 1930s with two drawers at the bottom. So it's not quite as wide, this one. Next, there's a dome box. Nice clean example of a nice antique pine dome box with the candle box on the left hand side. And another box, this time a flat top one. Again with the candle box on the left hand side. And another dome box still with the original painted middle section. That's quite an interesting piece. So this has been stripped, but had the middle section left as it is. We have a pair of quite low-ish, chunky bedside cupboards. These, I can put a shelf inside if you'd like me to. And that's for the pair, the price for the pair. Oh, sorry, these are a matching pair, which means both doors open the same way. No, just knock that over. So these both, the doors both open the same way. And we've got a reclaimed pine cupboard here with four doors and four drawers. And it has a shelf running all the way through. So that shelf runs all the way through. <coughs> a small pine dresser base. So that's two drawers over two doors.
then a small a little small wardrobe or large storage cupboard with a drawer at the bottom this is a one piece one it doesn't dismantle so be careful if it's going upstairs just check your measurements carefully and I think last is a very wide quite shallow this I think it's just from an old shop an old shop fitting and it has sliding doors three sliding doors with a shelf inside very useful because it's very shallow that is quite unusual and the three drawers above So as well as the little shelf thing I kicked over, that is everything, I believe. So if you see anything you're interested in and you'd like more information on, or if you're um, very keen on buying it, just let me know. I can send you more photographs. Obviously, we're going to be um, taking photographs and a video of every single piece and putting it on the website in its correct category in due course that usually takes a couple of weeks to get everything on there but as I say if there's anything you're interested in in the meantime and you'd like information or you'd like me to start off taking put, putting that piece on there first on the website then please let me know uh, everything is here oh I'll just show you a couple of tables that have arrived as well I just suddenly thought so there's a little table there and one below, sorry, forgot those. Just rather beat some bits and pieces I've picked up. Um, yeah, so if there's anything um, you're interested in and you'd like to put on the website straight away, let me know. Otherwise, everything is here. If you'd like to come and visit during the week, give me a call. It's best to give me a call first during the week just to make sure there's somebody here. Otherwise, we're open Fridays 10 till 4, Saturdays 10 till 5, Sundays 12 till 4. And as I say, any other time by appointment. And I hope there's something you like.